All right, we're going to do a video here on Franklin. He's just arrived here at the center. And, oh, he's a big hunk of a guy. And this guy has been in our program for quite some time. And foster mom Kay has done an incredible job with him getting him to come around, but he still has a long way to go. And this guy was tossed outside when he was scared of the dogs and the owner just didn't want him being scared, I guess, but put him outside where he spent a long time outside and until he was found with a feral colony and then the owner was located and she just didn't want him back. And um, he's just a scaredy cat. He's a big guy. He's a beautiful, beautiful cat. The wedgy face and a big body. And he's very food driven. He absolutely loves his food. So that's one way to his, to his heart. But he needs, um, he's a project kitty for sure. And he needs somebody who can do this, this hard, hard work of sitting with him repeatedly and again and again and just holding him and reassuring him and letting him know it's okay and working and working and working to bond with him. Now he's never shown any aggression. He does make some little hisses, um, what we call inappropriate hissing from time to time. Um, which is just sort of a reaction. It's it's not a threat. It's just a reaction to his nervous, you know, his nervous reaction. He's pretty hard, I'm finding, to get to purr. Um, a little while ago, I thought I heard a very, very small purr. I'm finding that uh, in my lap by himself um, is, you know, he's it's too scary. But inside of his safe house or his safe bed here, he's doing fine. And my, my thoughts are, if he could go to a very quiet home, um, he's not cat adverse, but the most important thing is there's gonna be someone in that home who can spend a lot of time doing this because this is gonna take a lot of time and it's going to um, need to be in short, repeated bursts of attention like this, day in and day out until he sort of gets used to it. So a home with a lot of other cats will make it somewhat difficult for someone to have time and may distract a little bit. Um, certainly there's nothing to say. Uh, I mean, he gets along okay with other cats. Actually, Kay said he was a little dominant with some of the other cats. So um, I think we'd have to, to look at the personalities if there were other cats in the home very carefully. No kids, no dogs. Um, great health. Beautiful cat, uh, and but someone who can just sit and, you know, sort of massage him and touch him and talk to him. He let me kiss him a few minutes ago on his forehead, um, and and just do that repeatedly. Will he always be the cat that scoots when there's a dinner party and stuff? Most likely, yes but I think he will bond very tightly with a person, but that person is really going to have to to work um, to bond with him. And, um, you know, we're just sitting here and, and cooing to him and telling, you, telling him how much you love him and how it's going to be okay and, and repeating it, um, you know, as much as you can each day, as much as you can day after day, and you'll get there. And that's the home we're looking for for this guy. Beautiful, beautiful male seal. One more look to the camera, can you, buddy? There you go. There you go. That's a boy. That's a boy. Good boy. What a brave boy you are. What a brave boy you are. Yeah. Put you back. Very slowly and carefully. There you go. Good boy. Good boy. It's 
I'm right. Trying to close the cages very quietly because that's upsetting to them, I think, too. <laughs> <laughs> 